Welcome to Starting Line. I'm Chris Carpenter. The 2018 committee deadlines have passed, but House members continue to introduce legislation and discuss proposals here at the legislature. This week on Starting Line, we learn more about a bill put forward by Representative Lori Halverson, which would, in part, require the Minnesota state system to provide mental health coverage for uninsured students. The three-term DFLer from Egan talked with us about her proposal. Well, the idea came to me from the uh, National Association for Mental Illness Minnesota, NAMI Minnesota. Um, and they have done a lot of work with regard to expanding access to mental health care with co-located services. And so um, we've done a lot in um, our, our grade schools, uh, K through 12, um, with co-located services, making sure that young people can get access to mental health care um, where they are so they're not leaving school to have to to go get mental health care services and the fact is that at the um, four-year college level with in Minskew um, these programs already exist um, that you will have access to mental health care on campus um, we don't have the same requirements with regard to our two-year institutions and so there are a lot of holes where a lot of you know thousands of Minnesota um, uh, students are, are getting education and don't have that same um, equal access to mental health services. So have you talked with some of the people from the Minnesota state system and what, what was their reaction? Um, I think that in general people seem to think this is a really good idea. Um, when you talk to folks who are um, in education and, and working in higher ed, um, this is a population that is seeing a lot of change in their life, a lot of transition. Particularly when you look at the two-year colleges, um, this could be somebody who's coming back to school, um, somebody who is parenting in addition, in, in addition to, go to going to school, um, somebody who um, may be um, struggling with uh, uninsurance, and, and, and it's, it can be a real stressful time in people's lives, um, you know, those, those first two years of, of uh, a higher education. And so making sure that folks can get access to the care that they need in a location that, that meets their needs. Uh, transportation is a big issue for um, people in, um, in college um, and two-year colleges, four-year colleges. And, and this would make sure that they can get the access to the care that they need. I saw a recent NBC News article that reported on mental health problems among college students on the rise. Why do you suppose that is? Well, you think about the time of life that you're um, entering. So this is um, a group that right now is facing um, some pretty steep economic challenges. It's a population that tends to be um, a high, have higher rates of uninsurance. Um, and ha it's a population where um, if mental health issues are going to arise, if there is a um, uh, brain chemistry issue that's going to present itself, it typically is after 18 years old um, when you look at things like bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety. Um, those things um, may have looked like something else when they're younger and it will start to manifest um, more um, uh, acutely when they um, are in this particular age group. So it's important that, that we're addressing it. This proposal would also help students seek health insurance. Why did you include this? Yes, that's a wonderful part of this proposal. Um, one of the most challenging things, I think, when you're a young adult, this is probably your first time uh, with dealing with credit, dealing with having to pay for your college, dealing with having to um, uh, apply for loans. Um, you are going through a lot of fiscal education and getting insurance is a big piece of that puzzle that folks may not even know where to start looking. And, and so helping people assist um, in getting uh, health insurance is really important, particularly because this is a population that tends to have much higher rates of uninsurance. The 2018 committee deadline has passed, mm -hmm. but where do you expect this proposal to go from here? Um, I think that we will have some conversation about it this year and uh, hopefully come back next year in a budget year um, with a, um, uh, you know, uh, the uh, ability for us to um, take it to the finish line. And I think that it's, uh, it's something that, as I talk to folks and talk to other legislators, um, they're seeing the need for it. So um, that makes me really happy and that it, there's bipartisan support for good mental health policy. And, and this is one more piece of that puzzle that we're trying to do to build a much more um, functioning mental health system in Minnesota. House File 4381 has been referred to the House Higher Education and Career Readiness Policy and Finance Committee. Representative Halverson's bill is one of nearly 4,500 introduced this session. 
While only a fraction of these proposals become law, you can still find out more about any of them by visiting the House website at www.house.mn. Thanks for watching The Starting Line. We'll see you next time.